the line between high level sort of scrambling, grade three, so stuff like that, and actual rock climbing can become quite, quite blurry. And it's important to know when to put a rope on and be safe. So I actually captured uh, a mo an exact moment like that where I had to make a decision between do I carry on solo in or do I put a rope on? Uh, caught it all on camera, so I want to show that to you. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let me show you what happened in the situation I got into, uh, and we'll see what I did. Fuck you now. So in this moment here, um, I am stood uh, at this point here, and I've drawn myself a little stick man to scale. So you can kind of see how severe that drop is to my left or on the right as it's shown here. And then from that point there, you, you essentially need to climb pretty much vertically up this crack that I'll draw here. And um, if you were to fall at any point there, you pretty much wouldn't survive. I can't see how you would survive a fall from there because you would essentially hit the ledge at the bottom and then bounce on down to the ground. And also you could potentially, like I said before, get yourself into a situation where you've climbed to a certain point um, and you risk falling um, or you could become crag fast, uh, essentially too scared to move anywhere um, and then you're really in trouble. So let's take a look at what happens next. I don't know. A lot of these blocks feel fucking hollow as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a rope. Yeah, yeah I took it down. It's a very serious climb. 
So kind of in, in summary, in my kind of very naive, I would say, uh, view, it really is important to know and not to get yourself into a situation that potentially you can't get out of where you've climbed to a point and you can't climb any further up and then you can't down climb either. And essentially then you're in pretty deep doo-doo. So plus I post a lot of scrambling videos and they get a lot of interest. I mean, I was making films way before the social media thing was even a thing. I tend to take my camera everywhere, but I've had a lot of people ask me recently whether I'd take them on some, you know, higher level scrambles. And the answer is 99% of the time is no, because I've only been scrambling myself uh, a year. So I'm by no means uh, an expert. And I always recommend people to get a qualified guide, a fully qualified mountain uh, instructor guide to take them um, on anything. I just uh, don't want that responsibility and I don't think it's the wise thing to do. And you know, it's also important like not to be, not to feel peer pressured into doing something that you're not comfortable with. Or alternatively, not to sort of be too overconfident and uh, try and go at a pace or try and go to a level just to try and impress yourself or other people. It's easily done, you know. I've seen my, I've seen it in myself before, where I've, yeah, I can take this on, da da da, and uh, foolish. Um, but um, there is literally no harm in, you know, saying no to yourself or to other people and saying, no, nah, this is not for me. This this is a bit beyond my, beyond my level at this time. So, um, you know, it's easy easy done. I think anyway. It's very important to know what level you're at and what you're comfortable with and because a lot of it is, is psychology um, and it's a lot of it is mind over matter as well as climbing ability um, what you're really comfortable with the surroundings that you're comfortable with and it's super important to stay at the level you're at until you're confident to go any further and but to always have a have a sort of fallback plan so to have the equipment and know how to use it so that if you do need to go on a rope, you can, um, and you can sort of get yourself out of a situation that potentially could be very high risk and high consequence. Um, this is by no means a, a, a video that's trying to lecture people on anything, because I'm in no position to lecture anybody, but uh, I just thought it might be useful. You know, I thought it might, might be uh, something that people could take something away from. So um, yeah, I think that's it. and. Uh, happy mountaineering. Very loose, very, very loose. Yeah. I don't think I've got the fucking balls yet. The minimals. <laughs> oh, that's a nice hold.
I love it when you find a nice hold like that. Yeah. This makes all the difference. Oh. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a... Find yeah. your way? No. Nope. He's got the Italian hitch on there. Mm -hmm. Fuck you now. 